Miss Alicia here, and today I'm going to read to you, Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze. The story is by Patricia Thomas, and the pictures are by Wallace Tripp. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear it's clear. Oh dear, you better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail. Tumbling and bumbling, your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. No, no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees, the branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away, we didn't get back until the next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please, don't sneeze. With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock's tails and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess it was quite a mess, very confusing and not too amusing. Even of a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Fly, fly, called the birds to the bees. The elephant said he's going to sneeze. Oh, no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off our stings as well as our wings, and we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please. And that's hard to do on bees' knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant said he's going to sneeze. Oh, please, not a sneeze, cried the bear. That's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair and left me so bare, I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't laugh, almost bent in half, and the crocodile's snout was turned inside out. The last time he sneezed, a sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze? Oh, please, don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh my, do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, you would if you could. The last time you blew off all of our scales from our heads to our tails and our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin. If you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please, don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, yipes, you'll blow off my stripes, put plus lots and lots of the leopard spots, and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, a lot of us will fall right on our bottomus if you sneeze, so please don't sneeze. I'm so sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. About all of this, I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. boo shouted a gray little mouse jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his little tiptoes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek! shouted the elephant, jumping up in the air. That's a mouse! That's a mouse standing there! I must hide in a tree before he gets me, or jump in the lake, for goodness sake. Don't scare me! Please spare me! The mouse laughed. Oh, Pooh, now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you. I only wanted to give you a scare, and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. 
Well, what do you know? cried the elephant. That's so. It's astounding, confounding. As I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. Hee, 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 hee. That's the funniest thing that has happened to me. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho-hoed and ha-ha. He giggled and nuffled. He chortled and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking and all the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees and the stings fell off of every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where. And all of the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half and the crocodile snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The G zebra yelled, yipes, there go all my stripes, the, while the hippo went thump right on his plump, you know what. And into a puddle, the mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad you don't have to sneeze, but if you must laugh, laughed softly. Oh, elephant, please. Thank you, everyone, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.